Going, uh, when I used to go to a church very near to us right now, and a uh, person that I used to bring with me to the service, they would go, you know, uh, I don't see anybody doing that. You know, when the band was playing the music, I'd be like that. <laughs> you know, they said, you know, uh, I don't see anybody else doing that. I said, man, that sucks. <laughs> that really sucks for them. And they said, well, why do you do that? I said, I don't know. I said, it's inside of me. I said, man, I, said, I just get overwhelmed with how great our God is and what he's done. I said, did you know I used to be an addict? Did you know I was into drugs and alcohol and into pornography and the gambling all my money away every single time? Did you realize that? Did you know that? I said, I'm no longer that way. Who am I going to give thanks to? The guy next to me? To you? To the pastor? No, I'm going to glorify God. I'm going to glorify God. They said, well, don't you feel uncomfortable? Other people are looking at you. I said, man, why would they want to look at me? <laughs> I said, what a waste of time. I said, what a waste of time. Why look at me? Why spend time worrying about what I'm doing? And uh, you know what's really ironic about that story? Uh, true story, too. And you know what's really ironic about that? Is that when I was uh, forcibly leave from that building uh, a couple of years after that, and then I was told that I can't come back for 30 days. I was shocked. I go, what is that? And this is the quote, unquote, from their words out of their mouth when they told me that I can't come back for 30 days. They said, because your presence is so large in the auditorium, we're afraid of disruption in the service. Huh. And I said, wow. I said, do you know what you're saying? Do you realize what you're saying? It's either one or two things. Either I'm all that, or he inside of me is all of that. I said, it's only, you only have two choices. You only have two choices. If you, Mr. Preaching Man, think I am all that, then there's something wrong with you.